All right, so uh, for the week of 2021, we we have uh, for the second week of, 2020, of October 2021, Monday, October 11th. Uh, today, today, Monday, as you can see, we don't have much fundamental news today. So the market may, may be a little bit quiet today, moving uh, normal technical movement without much volatility. So on Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, we don't have much also except uh, the zeal sentiment, economic sentiment, the German zeal economic sentiment, okay? This we have tomorrow at 10 a.m. Nigerian time affecting the euros. So if the actual is better than the forecast and previous, it's good for the currency. If the actual is lower than the forecast and previous, then it's bad for the currency. Now, apart from that also, uh, keep an eye on this at 3 p.m., the jolt job openings. Keep an eye on this. So if we have more jobs opened, that is good for the currency. If we have less job open, it will be bad for the currency. So that is that on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we have uh, we have CPI and core CPI at 130 affecting the US dollar. The, the CPI is inflation figures and at this time, prices of things are going up because of the money injected into economy due to COVID-19. Uh, they injected the money so that money will be in the hand of uh, business people. So because of this, prices of everything has gone up, not only in Nigeria, but everywhere in the world. So everything is expensive. So that's inflation. And uh, these are inflation figures, consumer price index. So if these figures are better than the focus, which is good for the currency. Why? If the figures are going up, it's going to make uh, government to cut interest rate, I mean, to increase interest rate, to draw more money from the economy and thereby make inflation to fall, okay? So that is why if these figures are better than the focus and uh, the previous, then it is good for the currency. If the figures are lower than the focus and the previous, then it is bad for the currency. Then the FOMC minute, meet, meeting minute at exactly 7 p.m. Nigerian time on Wednesday is also very important. Keep an eye on this uh, meeting minutes. So from the minutes, if they agree, they're going to increase rates in the nearest future. They're going to do something about uh, asset purchase in the nearest future. All these are very important things that you must take note of. If there's anything about uh, monetary policy adjustments in the nearest future, then it will be good for the currency. But if it's a negative statement, a negative minute, then it is bad for the currency. On Thursday, we have uh, for Australian dollar by 1.30 a.m. Nigeria time, by 1.30 a.m. Nigeria time, we have employment change and we have unemployment rate. You can see employment change, uh, our, our focus is telling us is going to uh, be about, you know why we have this minus 146.3K and 135.0K? It's because Australia has been on lockdown so if they are out of it now, they just maybe this week or so. They are, that is why job opening, new jobs are not there. And that's why we're having the minus. Okay. So any little positive increment, okay, will cause a huge change. Okay, will cause a huge move for Australian dollar. And unemployment rate, you can see unemployment rate is expected to increase. Okay, in Australia, that's bad for the currency. In fact, new job opening, that's employment change. It's expected to fall. Okay, this is increment minus one thirty five compared to minus one forty six. So if we have minus maybe hundred or possibly positive, then that would be good for the currency. And if we have this number drop, that that would be good for the currency. But if this unemployment rate figure is also higher than previous, then that would be bad for the currency. All right. So if it's good for the currency, if the two news agree together, they are good for the currency. You see, AUD USD we buy, AUD JPY we buy, then um, AUD CAD, all the AUD based currency we buy. But if it is bad for the currency, all the AUD based currency would fall. And if it is good for the currency, all the AUD quote currency like GBP AUD, Euro AUD, uh, if it's good for the currency, they will fall. But if it is bad for the currency, all the AUD quote currency peers will rise. All right. That is that uh, on that. So let's move from there and see what more we have on Thursday. We have the PPI on Thursday. We have the core CPI, then unemployment claim. 
by 1.30 p.m. Nigerian time. Keep an eye on that. Any increase in the figures is good for the currency, decrease in the figure bad for the currency, except unemployment claims. Okay, uh, uh, yes, the same thing. Any increase in figure good for the currency, any decrease bad for the currency. And uh, apart from that, on Friday, we are having on Friday, call retail sales on Friday. Call retail sales and retail sales by 1.30 affecting US dollar on Friday. Then we also have the prelim uh university of michigan consumer sentiment okay so this retail sales increase in figures is but is good for the currency decrease in figure bad for the currency why this uh prelim university of michigan consumer sentiment is also very important so if this increases it shows consumer has positive confidence on the economy and that will strengthen the currency but if they have if the figures reduces or decreases then they have less confidence in the economy and that will be bad for the currency this is our fundamental for the week uh the second week in the month of october now let's leave this and let's go to our technicals now let's look at our technicals and see what we have for the week. Technically, let's see what we have for the week before we end today. So this is Euro USD weekly time frame. I'm a weekly time frame. You can see it. Euro USD weekly time frame, and um, bias is bearish to neutral. That's a bias for Euro USD bearish to neutral. Uh, we are waiting for Euro USD to move. Like today, we said today is going to be a quiet day because. Uh, uh, today, markets might be very, very quiet uh, because no fundamentals to actually push price. But this is what we are seeing. Uh, the resistance for the week is at 1.1640. 1.1640. Why the support for the week is at 1.1526. 1.1526. So a close below this support, a close below the support will lead us to the next support at 1.1420. 1.1420 is the next support. But if this guy comes down and hits this support at 1.1525 and bounces up, it's very possible. It's very possible. So 1.1640. Uh, 1.1640. But if you break 1.1525, 1 uh, uh, that will lead us to the next support at 1.1415. Uh, 1.1420 bias is bearish to neutral. You can take a look at this on lower time frame, like four hour time frame, and so on. So, four hour time frame, we can construct a very nice uh, uh, trend line that looks like this a very nice trend line that looks like this on four hour time frame. Then we see what price, how price is going to react to this trend line. Let's see how price is going to react to this. Uh, trend lines we have already. Okay, these are the trend lines. So let's see how price will react to these guys and see if price will move up or price will break through and move down. But for me, I'm expecting price to begin to uh, move towards the upper side because uh, you can see this uh, trend line has been broken. I'm expecting price to move up towards the upside and see. Then I can put this my uh, other line in place to see if price will close below it. If, if price closes below this, that may take us to 1.1525 level. But if price bounces off this level it is now, then it may take us back up to 1.1640 level. That is Euro USD for the week. Now let's look at uh, GBP USD for the week. GBP USD for the week. Uh, price here is neutral to bullish, neutral to bullish bias. Bias is neutral to bullish. Uh, the support is at 1.35, 1.3600. That's the support we have now, 1.3600. Why resistance at 1.3655, 1.3655. That is that on weekly time frame. So let's go to four hour time frame and see what is actually going on. So from four hour time frame, we can discover that Price is still bouncing on this trend line. You can see what the, what price is doing uh, to that trend line. Price is still bouncing on that trend line uh, every now and then. So we watch out for what price may likely do after now. Then apart from this, we can see uh, from here. I'm seeing something X. I'm seeing something else. Let me let me draw this in such a way that we will get it. I'm seeing something X. 
This is one here at that point. Then this is another one here at this point. So this is like a wedge. So we have a wedge here and then we're waiting for price to break out of this wedge. We're waiting for price to break out of this wedge. Once price breaks out of this edge, then yeah, any direction it goes, it breaks below, we go down. It breaks above, we go up. So if price there to close below this trend line and close below 1.3600, the price may trend down towards 1.3530 level. So if price breaks below this level, then that would be a good time to trend towards this level. But on the flip side, if price closes above this level, that would be a good time to go up towards 1.3725. Bias is bullish to neutral. Bias is bullish to neutral. But I love, let's leave uh, GBP USD and go to AUD USD. AUD USD is, is not doing bad. My bias for AUD USD today is bullish. Bullish bias for AUD USD. Bullish bias for AUD USD. And you can see AUD USD is currently hitting on the on the resistance. That resistance is at 0 0.7335. 0 0.7335. And the support at 0 0.7220. 0, 0 0.7220 level. So with this, I can go to lower time frame and check what is actually going on. So you can see me on four hours time frame. And I'm trying to check to see what is actually going on. You see, there's a breakout before of our, there's a breakout from uh, the trend line. The price has begun to move up. And now if there's a breakout, the price, price has closed above uh, 0 0.7335. Uh, but let's see if this guy could, could sustain it also, the price should trend towards 0 0.7370 first. Then a break of this will now make us to go towards 0 0.7460 level. Bias is bullish to neutral. Bias is bullish to neutral. All right. So we leave that. We go to NZD UXD. NZD USD is the next one. So NZD USD, you can see NZD USD, the uh, bias for NZD USD this week is neutral bias. Neutral bias. Okay. Uh, the resistance here is 0 0.6930, but now turn, it's turning support little by little. It's 0 0.6930. Why the resistance at 0 0.6980, 0 0.69980. So price might likely tend towards the resistance for now, okay? Though bias is neutral, bias is neutral. So price may decide to trend towards this guy for now, move up towards 0 0.6980, or price closes below 0 0.6930 and trend towards 0 0.6870 zero level, 0 0.6870 level. Bias is neutral, bias is neutral. Bias is neutral. I'm coming, I'm trying to find a better stuff for us to see. Just, let's hold on, let me see if I can construct. I'm putting a very good trend line here. Okay. Okay. Uh, still, I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting what I want. It's only the bottom side trend line we can put for now. Fill the bottom side trend line, which look like this. And it's not really looking good because it's far away from price. Okay, but we can put a very short trend line that is close, like very close to something like this okay let's do something like this so let's let's hope price will break this guy up so if price finally break this guy up then we will be going up to 0 0.69 uh 80 level if price break this guy up we're going to 0 0.6980 level but if price decide to close below the support at 0 0.6930 that will lead us to fall lower to uh this point of trend line bias is Bullish to uh, bias is neutral. USD card, USD card did very well last week by being bearish. Okay, it moved very well last week. 
So if you got the opportunity, congratulations. But you can see uh, price has broken um, a major support. Price has broken a major support on weekly time frame, and that is 1.2490 level. Two, two point, uh, 1.2490 level. Why support at zero at 1.2414. Four six. That is one point two four five zero one five. Sorry, one point two four one five level. So it closed below one point two four one five level. We lead us to one point two three six zero level. We lead us to one point two three six zero level. For USD card, bias is bearish. Bias is bearish for USD card. All right, let's leave that. Let's look at gold. Gold has been doing very well this period uh, last week with massive moves, but though it's still ranging, I can see the way I drew that channel. I can see the way I drew the channel of gold. So now that it hit the bottom of the channel, gold should turn around and start moving up. If that is the case, then we're going to see gold move up to 1781, 1781 pips. So gold might want to move this uh, if, Everything is okay. So please keep this kind of channel on your chart and always check it to confirm if it's actually what you want to trade before you throw in your money. Bias is bearish for good, bearish to neutral. It's neutral because it might go up and up or down. It is uh, uh, gold. So you have to put this at the back of your mind. Gold is very, very volatile. All right, guys. So. That is our analysis for today, brought to you by CJC Market Nigeria. Brought to you by CJC Market Nigeria. And I believe after this analysis, you'll be able to trade profitably from the market. Be able to trade profitably from the market. So guys, thank you very much for your time. We want to keep this as short as possible. 